I can hear you. We are live, my man. It's good to be Being back live. live. It has <laughs> been. <laughs> and we've got Noble. Noble's here <laughs> while he's got some connections before Discord uh, drops out on him again. But, uh, you know, uh, you know. Our, our, our T's and P's out to Noble's Discord and that it pulls him yeah, through this episode. Right, I'm here. You, you literally undeafened yourself just as I was about to do a ripper of a bird. So I was like, crap, I messed me up. <laughs> and that's as about as professional as we get here at Corky's Chronicles. <laughs> like, hey. Welcome in. Cheers, my man. We got a little of the old... Uh... Family, uh, flank. Oh, wait, hold on. We go the other way. Go the other way. Dink. No, you gotta Dink. go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that an IPA? Or it is an IPA. It's Southern Tier Brewing Company, double IPA. It's a uh, 8.2% alcohol by volume. <coughs> volume, not volume. By that, volume. Crazy. that little bit of crazy. volume just makes it special. It just it puts you right over the edge. It takes the edge <laughs> off, actually. It's a little, you sprinkle a little volume in there, you know? But this will be <laughs> our, I guess, first episode. So after Noble yeah. is done editing and doing yeah, the I'm fine it. job that he will do to muddle this mess that me and carrie are about to lay out for him um oh, we will be li- we will be on uh, spotify so i'm very happy to say that we are up there look for angry corgi look for corgi's chronicles uh and yeah we'll be putting out some content on spotify lady dragon welcome in and uh yeah so today we have decided we are going to talk about the mandela effect so basically, and it's probably best if I, uh, you know, look up the Google definition. I'd hate to be misquoted at all. So the Mandela effect, hang on here. So basically what the Mandela effect is, and I'll kind of give my version of it. So it's kind of a distortion of a memory that a lot of people have had. So yes, we'll go into a bunch of examples, but it could be items. It could be other things. And I just kind of want to give my perspective, you know, Carrie, you know, I've kind of told him what we're going to talk about, but I haven't quite, I don't think he's really delved into it, which I love because I love the raw C note experience when we tell this man. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and that's <laughs> it, because if we didn't know, we didn't talk about bull riding or bullfighting, we would never know that Carrie will never fight a bull, but uh, mm-hmm. amongst other things, I'm pretty sure uh there isn't much that we can find but that'll be for another episode maybe we'll get him fighting a bigfoot probably not but we'll try i mean if it was like a zombie bull i might i might i might be now we'll fight a zombie bull but okay we're we're coming back to this circle back (laughs) anyways so according to the google definition the mandela effect is a type of false memory that occurs when many different people incorrectly remember the same thing So it refers to a widespread false memory that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s. Uh, Memories are not always precise recording of events. So that was one of them. Uh, There's a couple more and we're going to get into it because I know one that really uh, drives Noble crazy is Pikachu's tail. And it also drives me crazy because, yeah. Bro, hold on. I talked with hold... Noble about this for a while. Yeah, but go ahead. You got you got to hold yes. on. We're we're gonna unleash you in a minute here, Carrie, and I'm excited. Okay, but uh, okay. we're gonna have a couple examples. So, but that is essentially what it is. So I know this is low hanging fruit as far as podcasts go, but I like it because this is going to lead us into a lot of other things because I would like to have, you know, an interdimensional uh, conversation Ooh. at one point. We can talk about what some people consider the result of particle acceleration causing these effects so i kind of want to see where this leads us i want to talk about (laughs) that'll probably be our next episode when we talk about the hadron collider and what happened after 2008 and why shit has gotten so crazy sorry i completely forgot that my cat was sitting next to me and he scared the shit out of me so back to the mandela so yes. Picklesworth. Yeah, Reming- Remington J. Kitchen. Um <laughs> So as far as the beginning, what you just described. Yep. Like, I know people said that he died in a South African prison in the 80s. Now, I was very young in the 80s, so yep. I wouldn't have remembered that. But I know that I remember the Nelson Mandela. I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> became president. And gave a whole bunch of support to the South African rugby team to win the World Cup back in the day. There was literally a movie about this called Invictus. Yeah. It was a very good movie. I remember that movie now. That's what I remember. 
So I don't know any of this. Like, that's a whole new thing for me. So when people are like, Nelson Mandela died in prison, I'm like, no, he didn't. See, and this is the thing, because, Carrie, I've been looking at some of these, and I understand. And, you know, Mm -hmm. at the end of this, I would like to share my perspective on what could be going on here. And I think a lot of it has to do with the way that the brain interprets spelling and Mm. how that could be a lot of advertising ones anyways. But there are a few memories, you know, we have, uh, you know, Sinbad the genie that apparently never happened, but I do remember that. Okay. okay. And this is it because we had Shaq as a genie and Sinbad Mm -hmm. was literally in everything. Like there wasn't at one point in time, I remember Sinbad almost had another like straight to movie or straight to VHS movie uh, about, you know, whatever, like he was the house sitter. He was a bunch of shit, but he was coming out pretty yep. frequently. Like there was a spat between like 93 and 95 Sinbad fucking killed yep. it. And that was, Oh yeah, that was, that was a good time. And then, you know, I remember, you remember Shaq and steel. I know this is kind of an off yes. topic. Fuck man. I was, do remember that. Yeah. Cause I know we probably watched on. a lot of movies. So, the same. I think I know what happened here with the Sinbad thing. Okay. Let's, Let's describe the Sinbad. I, so basically, so oh, go ahead, Carrie, you can take it. So, oh, so basically, I remember, like, for some reason, I have a vivid memory of watching a movie with Sinbad as a genie. But I also remember there was a movie with Shaq as a genie. But around that same time, I think about nineteen ninety six ish, somewhere around there, there was a movie called The Cherokee Kid that Cherokee. Sinbad was in. Yes, and he was a cowboy in this movie. He couldn't shoot, so they had to teach him how to shoot. It was a whole movie about him dueling this guy. Yeah. I do remember Those movies were going on at the same time. So I'm wondering if people got those movies confused. Like, they watched the Sinbad movie, but they also watched the Cherokee Kid at the same time, and they were like, Sinbad was in a freaking genie movie. But Sinbad could have also been in a genie movie. Well, and this is it. And and the year that's, uh, like, I looked it up and it's Kazam. So Kazam was the one with Shaq where where Shaq was a genie. But I do remember, right? Because Sinbad did have the hat on, right? Like we all remember if Sinbad was a genie, we would all think about the same thing. But we can't confirm that it ever happened, but we all think the same. And that's what's so intriguing about the Mandela effect. So did we all see a commercial? What did we see? So did we interpret? Because as I look at the picture of Kazam right now, Shaq still didn't have the hat, right? Because we picture yeah. the Aladdin hat. Or um the giant the big giant gold hat, right? Yeah. Like the the it was a ridiculous hat, just hat. In gold. Yeah. But so if you look up, he redid a sketch recently where he was the genie. He made like a, a sketch dressed up in the shit that people said that he was dressed up in in this movie. And people were like, I knew this was a movie. No, it was a sketch that he just did recently. But I know in my heart of hearts that he was in a genie movie back in the 90s. And that's it. So at somewhere, sometime, you know, he, yeah. he, he did do it. Like, we didn't all just imagine this shit that's the thing there's got to be something that we pulled this from because even if you look up kazam like i said it's not the same it doesn't look the same like for those of us that remember the sinbad memory he was in like full attire like there wasn't like a cut off shirt like you know sinbad wasn't the kind of guy to flex muscle right like he was the joker he was the jester he was that's how they portrayed him in most movies but um, yes. but that's one of many. Now, I want to talk about another one because I thought about this today. And this is the Looney Tunes. So the Looney Tunes yes. Mandela the effect Tunes is that the Looney Tunes. Here, let me ask you this, Carrie. Carrie, we grew up yeah. watching this. How do you spell Looney Tunes? Yeah. Uh, to me, it'd be L-O-O-N-E-Y. Okay. Tunes? T-U-N-E-S. You are correct. What apparently some yeah. people think is it's Looney, but tunes with the T-O-O-N-S. So I've never seen it that way. Okay. And this is what I think, Carrie, because 
I thought about this today because I always remembered it as the tunes because back in the day, yeah, uh, See, I will come in, but, but back in the day, we did there was a lot more music to the cartoons there was less voice acting and it was more ah, of right man, so it man. was more of sound got introduced to cartoons and then like because you'd always have that do, 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 when someone walked away right so that was yes it was it was portrayed as an orchestra much like mickey mouse and disney movies like there was always some kind of musical rhythm to the way you should act, react, right? An evil guy had evil music, you know, Thunderstrike, and then everything gets dark. But I think what yeah. happened here with the Looney Tunes and the Looney Tunes, the cartoons, was, do you remember Tiny Tunes? Tiny Tunes was yes. spelt tiny and T-O-O-N-S. And I have a feeling that most of these people that are remembering are of the age where they watched Tiny Tunes. So they automatically associated, right? Could that, am I yes. crazy to think that that could be You're the not. reason? Okay. You're not. And I think that's what it is because I've watched both of those. I've watched both of them and I could see how people would get that confused. I could see how that could happen. A lot of these I'm starting to realize as I'm looking through them are things that like outside of the Fruit of the Loom one. The Fruit of the Loom. Okay, okay. people... Let's talk about that yeah. one. Sorry. Yeah. Do you remember the cornucopia on the back of your gitch? I do. Okay, so do I. I do. And here's why. And here's why I remember it. I was very young. And I remember <laughs> my, my grandma took me to the store. And she was like, we're going to go buy you some underwear. And I'm like, okay. What? Like, she was like, what do you want? I was like, I don't know, man. So she just picked up some like tidy whiteies. And I remember the fruit of the loom on the thing having the cornucopia. I remember it. I remember it. I also remember, I think it was in like the 90s when they switched it. I remember these things. <clears throat> I could be very wrong, but I do remember that. Yeah, like I, like I do remember, there was a time, and I don't care what you tell me, that there was the cornucopia behind the fruit of the looms because I wore enough little tidy whiteies to know that uh -huh. shit like the back of my hand. Because if there's one thing a man does know, a young man does know, it's the feel it's and everything that's on the underwear. But yep. uh, that's it. Anjum, welcome in. Sorry, dude. I'm, we're just uh, trying to get some uh, recordable welcome, clippable Anjum. content, but we welcome you in. So sorry, I don't feel, I don't want you to feel like we're ignoring you. Uh, we're just trying to get a couple segments in here so that Noble uh, has something to work with because we keep making his life difficult as fuck. We really so, do. Yeah, but he but wanted it. But that's the thing. It. <laughs> and even with the Fruit of the Looms thing, apparently there was like some lady who went like to psychotic levels to find this. And she's yeah. like, I found the shirt with the cornucopia. I found it. Like, See, I'm not crazy. The thing. These fuckers, and this is what's going to lead me into my next one because I got I to gotta dig this up. Um, mm -hmm. so the fruit of the loom, all this shit, I could go ask my mom, my mom, she's not a hoarder, but my mom doesn't throw shit out. Like if it, if there was she's some kind it. of emotional attachment and I know for a yeah. fact, and it's going to be the next example we're going to bring up are the Berenstain bears. Okay. Yeah. Because everybody remembers, well, according to them, I don't know. We were children. I can't say that we, and this is another one where I think the pronunciation of the word and our automatic assumption on how we spell things yes. led to this. So people remember the Berenstain Bears. If you don't remember who they are, um, you probably yeah. weren't born in the 80s or early 90s. They were a family of bears who didn't kill people that were very nice and, yep. uh, you know, did, did household shit. So they yep. remember the Berenstain Bears is spelled B-E-R-E-N-S-T-I-N-E. -E. But... The correct spelling is B R E N S T A I N. So not Berenstein, yep. but Berenstain Bears. See, for me, I don't remember Berenstein Bears, but I was also five, six years old, and I yeah. probably wouldn't get the news from me either. So I think that this is one of those things because in our life, we've grown up to say Steen, Steen, right? Like, Yes. Right. Yes. We do that's have the thing. That... Even go ahead. Even at that, like, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off, no. but even at that young age, like, even if it was Berenstain Bears, I'm five. I'm probably just saying Berenstain and just rolling with it. Right. 
that's pretty much what it was. So I've just said it my entire life. It might have been Berenstain Bears, but I've just said it so much that I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Like, and that's it. It's a tomato you know? tomato effect, right? Like, yeah. But that's another one that's always bugged me. The 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 case of Curious George's tale. You know, I didn't read enough Curious George growing up. He wasn't my, you know, that wasn't what I resonated with as a kid. But apparently, oh, he didn't have guy. a tail. I don't know if you watched Curious George, <laughs> but I think that was a I, little past my time. It was it was in our time during kindergarten, okay. first grade area. Okay. It was around that time. I didn't really read a lot. I had Curious George books, but like... If my mom kept him cool, I could go back and look. But I don't remember Curious George ever having a tail. But it's kind of weird that he's a monkey that doesn't have one. Right? But I feel that there was a story attached to him not having a tail. There might have been. Because in the 90s, there was nothing more thrilling for book writers than teaching the children Mm -hmm. of the 80s and 90s a horrible fucking lesson in a cute way. Like... Do you remember yeah. that fucking robot that used to teach us lessons? And if you put your hand in it, it'll like, and then he gets his arm chewed off. Like NBC used to run these like PSA commercials. What? Hang on. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What? Hang on. Yeah. You're we'll going to we'll show find me out this later. Shit. Anyways, it was something okay. you can't put your arm back on. Like I can don't put it in. And it was some kind of like NBC. Yeah. It was pretty horrific, but it was essentially a robot that would put its arm into a bunch of machinery and it get crushed up and then him pull it out after and reattach it. Yeah. Super fucked up. Not the Mandela effect. I apologize. Noble. So back to tales. So we've talked about curious George. So we've talked about curious George's tale. For me, you would always assume that a monkey would have a tail. So is our mind just putting that in, right? Like if you didn't know, like if I told you I had four fingers, right? You would have assumed up until this point I had five until I told you and showed you, right? It's funny that you chose that finger to put down, but go on. (laughs) (laughs) Luckily for some of you will be listening through this through voice and not video. (laughs) But (laughs) it wasn't the magic finger. Anyways. Febreze. Carrie. I'm sorry, but yes, I get what you're saying. Yes, yes. So Carrie, we're going to talk. Febreze, uh-huh. because we were around during the conception of Febreze. Because I remember when it came onto the market, it was the most expensive fucking car deodorizer you could it, buy. It really, so, really how was. do you spell Febreze, Carrie? I don't know oh. because I've never bought it. Really? <laughs> so, oh, I've oh, no, never purchased it. That's it. I've never purchased it once. Carrie just wakes my, up. I have never purchased it. Car- Carrie never. My smells. wife may have. She just doesn't no, tell you. Dude. <laughs> So anyways, if you smelled my rugby bag after a game, you would not say that, bro. Oh. She probably has purchased it. I just never have. Yeah. I would assume it's spelled F E B R E E Z E, which most people would, but yeah. incorrect. It is F E B R E Z E. See, I'm beginning to feel that a lot of the Mandela effect is either something just that confusion. was rebranded or just straight up illiterate people or people that are misspelling but like that's Very it true. so i want to talk about the next one though because we got a song yeah. and now i got to remember the song because i tried to remember the song yesterday and i couldn't let's talk about oscar okay. Meyer because we grew up with the oscar meyer oh, wiener song so my baloney has a first name and it's, it's o-s-c-a-r M-A- and my yeah. baloney has M-E- a second a m-e-y-e-r Ah, we're wrong, right? buddy. M A Y. Seriously? Yeah. Why do I remember it M E Y E R? Because we remember the last name Meyer, like we do Steen, right? Like this is, and this oh, is what I think it my is. God. Right? We've assumed it the is Oscar Mayer. Fuck. Yeah. Because I wish yeah, I was yeah. an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is Seriously? what I truly want to be. The song was misleading. I was a monster by a wiener. Everyone would be in love with me. But dude, but nobody's singing Oscar Mayer wiener. Right? Unless you want to know why? You know. But it's not John Mayer. But this is and this is the other thing. And I'm Mm -hmm. I we're not gonna get into it, but like I said, it's one of those things. And then I I have to ask myself. 
was this could this be a case of pre-social media whitewashing and i don't mean whitewashing but we do know, know that there mean, was but... right like you know where i'm going with this like at one point yeah for those of you who weren't born in the 80s and 90s there were certain things called you know the blacklist so basically what would happen um at a certain time more uneducated time when germans thought they were the shit um basically anything run by germans if you had a jewish last name or you were considered a jewish supporter right now Let's look at the Berenstein, a... the Berenstein Bears and Oscar yeah. Mayer, right? Oh, because shit. You see what right. I mean? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So, it was kind of the same thing here in the States with McCarthyism. Same thing. Okay. Let's same go, thing. Explain, if you were seen to be anywhere near. So, in McCarthyism back in the day, if you guys are not aware, in the United States, um, it was kind of like a Salem witch trial situation type thing. Where anybody could be like, this dude's a communist, and they would blacklist you. You couldn't get jobs. You couldn't do anything. So it, it could be incorrect. Somebody could just hate you and be like, this guy's a commie. Well, and then you're blacklisted. You're broke. You can't support your family. You can't do anything. So I'm assuming that's the same thing as what's, what yeah, Dan here is sa- Same Same idea. Definitely the same structure. Yeah. Probably the same people putting on the same plate. But you know what I mean? Did it get changed? Are we just comfortable with know. saying that we're crazy? Like no, because I've because now that you're saying that, like I'm looking at the Oscar Meyer Wiener mobile, and I just said it. I always thought it was Oscar Meyer, like M E Y E R. I never thought it was Mayer. I, it, I thought the whole brand was Meyer. But is that so? I've been wrong, maybe. But that's the thing. But I think that that's just linguistics right because you're gonna go to the most comfortable thing like if you learn yeah. somebody's name from a different country you're gonna you're gonna try to find syllables that match it in your own language right but mm-hmm. let's face it um a lot of people like if i met someone from madagascar i'm not quite sure but i'm sure there's different dialects on saying things right like in portuguese versus Correct. english yep. like latin yep. versus english like you know we have different dialects right like jesus is jesus somewhere else which is yep. maybe one we should talk about. Was Jesus just yep. a Mexican named Jesus? But we'll get Quite to that possibly. in another. We'll, we'll get to that in a, <laughs> when I offend Quite people possibly. in another episode. But anyways. But that's like uh, what's it? The the paint store. I don't know if you have those up there in Canada called Sherwin Williams. Yep, we sure do. Okay, so here down here, um, there's a lot of people that call him Sherman Williams. Okay. And they swear by it. They swear that the name is Sherman Williams. I'm like, you could literally go to the store right now. It's not. Yeah. It really isn't. But people do it all the time. And I'm like, is this going to be a Mandela effect thing? Is that what this is going to turn into? Because it's definitely Sherwin Williams. But I don't know. It's I'm still cool. hung up on this Oscar Mayer shit. Well, I'm going to get you it's hung up on something memory. else because we've probably <laughs> both had a pair of these. So, you know, yeah. how would you spell Skechers? S K E C H E R S. So are you cut out? No, it has a T in it. Oh, here we go. Does there is there a T? Is there a T in it? Hold on, wait a minute. No. So I don't know. Carrie, you're how, right. How, how Look, I spell it? See, but is this so the correct spelling is S K E C H E R S. Right? Without the T. So Yeah. But the thing is, Noble, let me ask you a question. If someone was sketchy, how would you spell that? Sketch. You'd have your T, in right? It. If you're going to sketch a drawing, yeah. you're going to have a T in it. So I think our have brain has gotten yeah. to a point where we've put that. But yeah, Skechers has never had the yeah. T. My God, dude. Now, there's one here that nah. pisses me off because this is the one that gets me every time. And I didn't eat these yeah. as a kid. Fruit Loops. Carrie? Fruit Loops. Oh no! Oh. Spell Fruit Loops. Oh, he's, Fruit, yo, loops. He's going on. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Right? Like you would spell fruit the normal way that most human beings would spell way. fruit. Not, with... Not how it's spelled. Not though. with the two bloody zeros. <laughs> the two bloody <laughs> zeros. We call them O's here in North America, but yes, the bloody yeah. zeros are true and and that's just yeah. what it is because that got me too because in no fucking universe would i spell fruit f-r-o-o-t 
right? No. Hey, yeah. Literally, like Grinch no, people that's... with an F. So yeah, yeah literally, yeah. <laughs> but the, but this is the thing. But how did we never notice this? Because our brain automatically puts that perception of the word fruit in front of us. I am blown away. I'm looking at this list, and it's it's messing with my head. <laughs> what? I think it's also one of them things is um, obviously a lot of the stuff we're looking at Mandela wise, a lot of it's back in our childhood days. Yes. Like the and Mr. Like how, how, yeah, like how vivid are your memories of your childhood? Like very questionable in places, isn't they? Yeah. Some of them are pretty vivid, but some of them I'm like, was I yeah. wrong here? And that's was it, I but wrong it, here? But it's not something yeah. we're gonna lose sleep over, right? We can come up no, with no. a I would say common sense approach to it, right? Like we can go on, we're gonna get into it. Lady Dragon says because they're fruit or because they aren't real fruit, which is true. So here's the thing. That makes sense. I used to study marketing back in high school. Like we used to do this. Philadelphia cream mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. They are amazing at this. You wanna know why? Philadelphia why? cream yeah. cheese spells light, L-I-T-E. It's not because it's lighter than anything else. <laughs> it's actually a lighter shade of white. So they're not lying, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. but you assume they're lying. that you're paying an extra yeah. buck because something's different in it. It is. It's yeah. the color. It's it's bleached a little more, you know, like, and that's it. So that's how people get around things. So the fruit and in uh, Fruit Loops, I could see that, right? Because if you spell it fruit, you would have to assume that there was X amount this fruit in of it. fruit in it. Right? Yeah. So there is a very good possibility when we grew up, it was the word fruit. But after a legal <laughs> yeah, battle yeah. that we never knew about, maybe it was changed. And we just don't it fucking talk about it anymore. Say, right? <laughs> it probably had a load of adjectives and E numbers in it, which is why the kids always used to get hyper off it. Hey, man, Red, like, six, oh. Red 6 runs the world, boys. But uh, oh let's talk God. about another one, because this is another one that is really easy to confuse. And it is the Monopoly Man and his monocle. Do you remember, Carrie? the Monopoly Man? Yes, he had man? a monocle. He okay. had a Noble. monocle. Do you remember the Monopoly yeah, Man? Yeah, he did. Okay, you're yes, both wrong. I do. I... And I don't remember him ever having a monocle. And this is why. Oh, shit. Okay, go on. Go you ahead. Know I know where this comes from. Okay. I know why. I Carrie, think I know why. Tell us why. I remember... Ace Ventura Pet Detective. And he was like, and you must be the Monopoly guy. And that guy had a monocle. Could be. That guy had a monocle before he knocked him out and started dancing with him and shit. Kara, do you remember Planters Peanuts? Yeah. Yeah. That guy that also right had a monocle. And I think Planters that's Peanuts. where it is because I always remember Planters with the monocle. The thing is, whenever we see a top hat, we assume monocle. And I think that's yeah, where our, yeah. our brain, our brain is like yeah. AI. Our brain is going to fill in that which it doesn't know. It will fill in a background. Like whenever I see a brick background, I have to see a light bulb above it. Like that's <laughs> fucking yeah, portable. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen this about 20 times this week, but I will not choose a black or brick background without a fucking light in it because that just feels better to me. But, but is that's, there going to be a light bulb yeah. dangling, dangling above our heads? I'm not going to lie. I've thought about that already. So, but okay, Noble, okay. No, Noble's in charge now. I'm not allowed to click shit. I'm leaving it up to him. Uh, I've already locked myself out of one account today. We're not doing this anymore. But anyways, the real world is, well, our current world, the Monopoly man, no monocle. So, but that is an easy, that is a very easy yes. perception to change, right? Now, but oh, go ahead. that Ace Ventura effed it up for everybody. See, and this is the thing, because I don't remember that, that until that you put it in. Dude, so is this what our I brain need is you doing? to look up that scene? Yeah. Well, well yeah. Wait, we'll no, ahead. you know that scene. I know that yeah. scene. I, yeah. But now we're going to talk about the one that frustrates all of us the most, and it is yeah. our beloved Pikachu, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. all of us. If we had to describe Pikachu as the fun-loving little yellow rat of electricity that has yes. two black tips on his ears. And a black tip on his tail. Apparently, everyone is wrong. Pikachu has yep. no black mark on the tip of his tail. So, I swore he did. Dude? Yeah, I was going to say, this is one of those ones I've thought about, innit? 
and I've actually done a bit of digging. Like, I went back inside, you know, when Pokemon cards first started being produced, and Pikachu never had a black tip on the cards. But do you know why I think we remember the black tip? Where? Because I swear he had it in the in the cartoon. And, and this is the I thing, swear. and this is what bugs me, because Noble, I actually have all the old ones. I've got it on IPTV, and he does. Yeah. So I'm beginning to wonder if that's the thing, right? Like, was it done mm -hmm. in the original version, or maybe in a version that was brought yeah. over to, right? Like... Okay, I like will say in this. the original, like, eight, nine seasons where you went through the original regions yeah. in it. So right. I will say this. Originals, uh... there is a Pokemon named Pichu. Yeah, that that's still the, has uh, one point below point. Pikachu. Yeah. So, yeah, and this is what I want to do. Yeah. Okay, guys, I haven't looked this up, so we don't know the answer. Nobody knows the answer. We're all going into this cold. Does okay. Raichu have a black stripe on his tail? No. No, I don't think he does, no. No, so no. why the no, fuck did not. we assume... That Pikachu does like, and that, and that's just that would be how I would do it. Like, but I don't, I don't know. It's bugging me I, so I, bad. I, I swear, I swear, from the early seasons of the anime, man, I swear. Like that... I did check back with the cards, and the cards never had a black tip, so I, that had me dumbfounded. So I'm like, well, where else did I see Pikachu? And I was like, well, it's got to be either the games or the show, isn't it? Yeah, like there's, right. uh, it, it, and I can see the way, but look, we're gonna pull up my box next time we're all together in a room here, and we're gonna, we're gonna it watch this because doesn't. I want to see what this is. But I, I checked it out, and on the original, original, he does have one. But oh, so maybe it just went away after the original series. And this is it. And this is what I wonder. Like, marketing is so good in making us. It's not even forget, but oh, they can I'm sweep something under guy. a rug, right? That is what marketing does. Like, yep. marketing is there to put a perception in front of you, right? Sales marketing is lobbying. That's all it is. I'm here to sell you a product. I'm going to tell you why I'm better than them. With this gets back yep. to our, and this is one, one episode we're going to have, is humanities need to be tribal, because sometimes it drives me insane because if you're not a part of this clique, that makes you a lesser of a person. No, you can fucking have different opinions and still be friends. We do it all the fucking time, yes. right? And that's it. Oh, I'm an that's... asshole. I'm as advertised. I'm angry Corgi. That's just what happens. I usually do things where a very hard-headed approach. But even with these Mandela effects... Angry. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little aggressive there. I apologize, guys. <laughs> but, um, but that's just it. Like some of these we can figure out between a few people in the room how we could have gone wrong here. So the next one, Carrie, how do you like them yeah. Kit Kats? Like the Kit Kat bars. Is it spelled K-I-T-K-A-T? -T? Yeah, you got the spelling right. Now this... I have Kit Kats on me right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has one on him now. Okay. All right, so what, what's going on with the Kit Kats? So right now, everybody remembers Kit Kat with a hyphen in the middle. I don't. Yes, it, it does. I it? do. I do. I remember that. But yet right now I've got one and it doesn't have the hyphen. Oh, mother. All right, hold on. I swear, I swear, I remember it with Hudson. I gotta look this up. This is bullshit. I'm just here yeah. to create. I'm just here to create animosity between friends. This you, is you, straight you bullshit. This There's no way that this doesn't have a hyphen in it. I know you're looking at one, but it doesn't have one. It never did. I'm also wondering. Hold on. I'm also wondering because Lady Dragon said they even study which colors make fonts make you feel that way. I'm wondering if. They did a rebranding, and these companies have something that we don't have, where they can literally wipe the internet of shit. Well, I'm wondering. I don't think it's. I, I think you know these things were. Do. I oh, sorry. Go ahead, Noble. I was just saying, <laughs> Terry. Saying it is possible if you know how to do it, but it's not an easy undertaking. I, I, I think the problem might have happened sometime in the late '90s, early 2000s. And I think yeah. that was a time when the internet was very raw still. Um, but I think everything, when there wasn't internet documentation about shit, we, we can 
we can change perceptions. Like, let's be real. Um, yeah, like the whole and, and, gear and that, hamster thing. Yeah, how many versions of the Bible are there? Right? We've, I don't know, like we, a we've billion? taken, and that's it. Nobody knows what the Bible is because we have changed it so many times. We don't know what was right. Fuck. For all we know, it was a pamphlet on selling cars. And it's been changed so many times to appeal to so many different perceptions because that's what they want you to perceive. And I think that yeah. this might have been it. It might have been, who knows, maybe they did not trademark KitKat at the time. Someone fucking trademarked it and then they had to oh. change it. And this brings us yeah. back to an episode of The League. And if you've never watched The League, it is a great show about fantasy football. But what happens is there's a gentleman named Taco who is uh -huh. possibly the smartest, but not the brightest on the show. He trademarked yeah. the DallasCowboys.com website. That was his site. He yeah. took ownership of it. So he ended up selling it back to them for millions. And, th and this is one of those things. So did someone maybe trademark the hyphen? Because Noble really seems to remember it. I don't. So here's the other question. Could it be yeah. that international um, marketing changes the spelling sometimes to avoid trademark laws? I think Possibly. That has happened in instances, but I'm currently looking currently looking through the history of the Kit Kat rapper Reddit. We we, we got know? we got we got Noble going now. No, Noble's on a tirade. He's after Kit Kat. Yeah, he's I... after Twix. Fuck Cadbury. Watch yourself. He's oh gonna find God. he's gonna yeah, find I'm the secret to the caramel bar. It's it's coming. I've it's coming. Back through it. It's lions that sound like chickens. I've looked yeah. back through it since they started, and there isn't a single one with a hyphen in it. Right. Mm. Which is driving me mad. But someone says here, Kit Kat problem is solved. He says it's not a Mandela effect. It's literally a brain storage retrieval error. Oh, uh, okay. Where people think, you know, where you put things in place. Okay. So again, I can see that. We're, blah, blah, blah. we're filling things that never needed to be. Well, I'm going to watch my words mm -hmm. there because that's probably not the best term to use, but. Our brain is filling creating its own AI, right? right? We're filling yes. in, we're putting the picture. Like if I gave you a blank room, you would probably put a picture of a fucking vased flower or something that we grew up with because you just can't picture an empty wall. There's always a picture. There's always something. And the yep. next product we're going to talk about is a very, I don't know how, how if you guys have them there in the UK, but it's a product called cheese it. Um, Carrie, those little fucking yeah, cheese crackers. So anyways, it and there should be a hyphen in it. Yeah, you got the hyphen, you got the IT. Most people remember it as cheese its with a Z at mm. the end, but it is cheese it. There is no Z. Yeah. And now we're going to get to the one that really drives me nuts because this is where I start to question my own reality. Double yeah. stuff Oreos. Carrie, spell that shit. Ooh. Or just the stuff. But... <sighs> How would you normally spell stuff? S-T-U-F? And I'm assuming they added another F. Well, the reverse. So I would normally spell stuff with two Fs. What? So S-T-U-F-F. -F. But now yeah. there isn't a second F. So Oreo double stuff. S-T-U-F Oreo. So here again, is this just a clever trick of uh, rebranding? Because much like Philadelphia cream cheese light, they don't actually put two servings of the stuffing. Mm -hmm. Those think, bastards. Like, partly what I think as well is you, we could be our brains could be right into knockoff brands as well. That's also true. As there are a lot of knockoff brands which play on similar spellings, don't they? Now I will say this. Okay, I'm gonna say I this. Swear okay. I've Oreo ones are a bit iffy. Once I uh, click on this, I'm gonna say this. Uh, my inner fat kid comes out when I see Oreos, so Fuck I man. don't look at the packaging right. fast enough. I usually rip the yeah, shit. <laughs> when did society, yeah, when did we get so ravenous as a society that Oreo or like literally cookie companies had to make a top rip? Like we don't have that fold over with yeah. the white anymore. It's just, just a straight rip, up bro, rip it It's just a straight up rip yeah. out. Which I appreciate. Thank you guys. But there's another yeah. one. So this is one of my favorite cartoons growing up. It's the Flintstones. Right? We all remember oh, them. Right? We had the Jetsons. We had the Flintstones. That That's it. it. So, Carrie, uh, I'm not going to put you on the spot all the time. So, okay. they remembered the remembered spelling that most apparently have of the Flintstones is F-L-I-N-S-T-O-N-E-S. 
my reference and the actual correct would be flint stones because flint yeah. is a type of stone f l i n t s t o n e s so yeah again this is is this just a perception of misspelling i think it's just how people said it when they're saying it quickly right? because they're like the flint stones so they add an extra s in there when it shouldn't be i've always remembered it as the flint stones i just said it fast so it sounded fucked up <laughs> like, you know that's the thing so it's all for me it's always been the flint stones see and, and, and barney's wife is a smoke show let's just right? put it that way and then i'll move on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's one of them i look at and i'm just like the double t version don't look right but then i'm just like hmm. but is there, that wait, just because your version? eye is picky like this and, and that's the other thing hmm. like I don't know. And that's the other thing. It doesn't look pleasing to the eye, right? Like Flintstones. Yeah. But like you said, Carrie, I God think it's it. just the way that people have pronounced it. It's like in 10 years, I think people are going to be talking like text, which really scares the shit out of me. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to forget how to spell you. Y O U. Oh yeah. We're just going to say gonna be a you, straight question you. Mark, right? We may and the well crazy part is, is what? not to go into something else that's going to make Noble's deal a little harder. But as you bring up texting, because we're going I'm going into like multi-universal shit. Texting is just another version of hieroglyphics. Let's freaking be real. Let's be real here. And then we'll go back to that. Sorry. Sorry. We are gonna forget how to spell you. It is Flintstones. There's a double T. Flint. It's not a yeah, so it's Flint and then Stone. So it's not really a oh. double T, but there is two T's in the name Flintstones. Yeah, that does look yeah, it does look kind of weird. Right? I'm you don't you don't want to see what it. it is. Right? Yeah. Hmm. And this hmm. is the thing. And here, let's let's ask it. Okay. No, actually, no, we're not gonna do it because it's gonna get us in trouble. But it's like forgetting <laughs> like I know I've seen nipples, but I've never remembered someone else's nipple color. Right? Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like you're gonna fill that shit in. So you just look at their lips. Ah, good call, my man. <laughs> I like that. That's, it's the same shit, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one was a good one. I probably shouldn't have said that. No, that's a good clip. I like that one. All right. So here's another one. I... Oh, no, but shit. You probably didn't. I don't know how much you know about the great, the wonderful Ed McMahon. So this was a absolute prominent see and this is going to be the thing because we're going to talk about publishers clearing house so uh -huh. ed mcmahon and publishers clearing house what everybody remembers kind of like me but ed mcmahon used to have these commercials where what was it like a book like i can't remember what it is you buy some books and you can win a giant check so they would show up yeah. to your house like the giant checks are synonymous yeah. with ed mcmahon because that's yes. how they portrayed it right a gentleman an old gentleman came and handed you life-changing money in a giant check at your house while you act super surprised on the porch. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. everybody remembers this as Ed McMahon himself handing out the checks, going to people's houses, and that was the video that was happening. But... Was it not? No. It was merely his face on the envelopes. So our mind had put the face of the winning it's kind of like kfc and the colonel right think of it that way yeah okay you'll see the logo of the colonel and you'll automatically think of the human face of the colonel right the 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 one we all grew up with but with ed mcmahon he was on tv so much and i do remember him speaking on the commercial i just don't ever remember him handing out a check right because it'll be like this is ed mcmahon with the publisher's clearinghouse right we we've changed another life for some other bullshit but Ed McMahon himself so, never handed out the check. Who the hell was the guy handing out checks? I think it was just some old bastard from like... Probably look-alike, isn't it? Right? Like just enough to look like Ed McMahon from behind on a camera. Those motherfuckers. Dude, 90s cinematography was a little smarter than we thought. Yeah, I would have to say. So let's because look I remember Ed McMahon going to door to door, and they were just like, "It's our publisher's clearinghouse." And say, "Oh, right, like, you won, you won a million dollars." Yeah, that type of thing. 
<laughs> like that I, oh man you okay. guys crushing now, my now childhood right now oh dude like i'm gonna get you and, <laughs> you know this is another one and this one just pisses me off because i feel that this is another one where we filled in a blank that was never there uh-huh carrie who is the bear yeah. that used to tell us how to put out forest fires what was his name smoky the bear noble what was the name of the bear that used to i don't know if you guys had it over there was the name of the bear that used to help us put out fires or tell us how to put out fires no you're not ringing no bells uh... okay that might have been a north american thing anyways I wait, 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 hold on. Oh, before yeah. we move on was there a character that taught you how to put out forest fires over there no there wasn't oh okay they had a lot of they All had right. a lot of rain over there. I don't feel like it's they're quite as susceptible. Oh, shit, yeah, really yeah I don't yeah. like I don't feel like forest fires are a big concern over yeah. here. So like yeah, we do have some noble, big forest, but it's all ready gets dry. In mine yeah. and Carrie's wonderful childhood, we used to have this bear, and he was a grizzly bear that used to wear a straw hat with smoky across the the bill. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah, we the, remember the it as it. Smokey the Bear, right? Because yep. It's just he's a bear, fucking it? bear. Yeah. It is smoky bear. There is no the the we Son of a our bitch. mind because we need to describe what he is. Because if you said smoky bear to someone, you would think that it was a fucking smoky bear, right? Like something great, yeah. like with smoke. Yeah. But that's it. Smoky the bear is more well known than his actual name of Smoky Bear. Okay, piggybacking off of this, go nuts, right? Piggybacking off of this because there's another anim anamorphic an anamorphic thing that okay, so if it's just Smokey Bear, was it McGruff the crime dog or was it McGruff Crime Dog? Because I'm assuming it's like now this is screwing me up for other things now. It is McGruff the crime dog. Okay, so it is the crime dog. Okay, yeah. cool. I've always thought it was Smokey the Bear. See, and this and is the thing. Noble, we used if it you as, don't know what that is, you've got to look it up. But it's we crazy. used it as what an, an adjective, a descriptor. But yes, we should have been using it as his last name, like Yogi Bear, right? His last name is yes, Bear. Yes. Not Yogi the Bear. Smoky but... Bear. Yeah. Dude, Smokey Bear was the shit, dude. Right? Right? Yeah. He Nobody prevented Smokey Bear. He might have started some, but he definitely prevented oh, a few forest fires. Well, I mean, you can't be your first name be Smokey and not light up. Like, like, come on! All like, right. God, dude. all right. Well, that was a bad joke. Just no, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I was like, we'll edit that out. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but yeah, I've always remembered it, like you said, as a descriptor. See, it's it, weird it, to hear it that way. And this is it. Like, we can go through countless. Like, we we can sit here. There's actually quite a few of them. Some of them, I feel, people yeah. are 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 kind of reaching a little bit on, but like things like Jeff and Jiffy. When I say Jiffy yeah. to you, what's the first thing that comes to your head? Pop. Right? Jiffy Pop popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. So that, but, that I can see how that getting confused. Right. And that's it. Like, Jiff woman. is the actual peanut butter. Um, it's not yeah. Jiffy. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's stuff like that. So is it really a false? I guess it would be. But like I said, we're getting to a point where I think that our brain has just started to fill in the blanks. And... Yeah. There's some things we can explain. There's some shit we can't. Like the cornucopia, stuff like that. And the problem is we're yeah. looking at a lot of marketing instances. So there's one thing that I did want to look at, you yeah. know, much like Nelson Mandela not dying when we thought he died. But another yeah. one was there's a picture. Do you guys remember the pictures we used to see of Tiananmen Square? Anyway, like the, the word. Yeah. I standing in front of the, the tank. The tank. So the tank picture yeah. is a big one here. And if I could learn how to use my fucking computer properly, all that. So long story short, there's a bunch of tanks in the middle of Tiananmen Scare, and there's a man standing up to them. Oh, Tiananmen fuck. Square I'm assuming crazy. that I know how to spell Tiananmen Square. Uh, <laughs> tank man. Okay. Uh, tank man, Tiananmen Square. That is definitely not the way. Uh, fun fact for t today, because I feel like we should all learn how to spell something. Uh, T-I-A-N-A-N-M-E-N. Uh, there you go. That's how we spell Tiananmen. But anyways, it's a picture of a gentleman standing in front of four tanks in the middle of a street. Standing up to the, you know, the 
the powers that be of the Chinese empire. We all yes. remember that. But but the thing is, was this a propaganda move? Because apparently he never did. Um, you know, there there's... I remember watching a documentary on this and he dragged and this his is ass it. off. So this is what bugs me because propaganda was a real thing. And one thing that we seem to forget is all the technology that we have as a consumer, it's not like it yeah. just sprouted up last year. Uh, a lot of technology has been around for at least 40, 30 to 40 years. Military yep. generally has control of technology prior to it being released to the public. So yes. you think that your iPhone, they've probably got an iPhone 50. Like there, there's all kinds of shit. And, and, and this is the thing. The Mandela effect could be just really good marketing, really good propaganda, right? If we just keep pushing out something new, something different, they're just going to remember it. They're going to forget that they remember it and we're not going to have enough proof. And I think well, now that the internet's been out is one thing where we have more, in the age of digital documentation, it is a lot easier haven't. to prove something happened, right? Yes. It's a lot it's a lot easier to prove something happened, but also if you flip it the other way, you it's can a lot easier. Also a lot... Yeah. Well, it's not this that. You can see how it's a lot easier for Mandela effect type stuff to gain traction because you have a lot more people talking and relating online. And that, you know, that brings up more places for confabulation and priming, which, yes. you know, we're all examples of. Um, you know, either when um, false memories are generated in your head when you um, try and recall something and, you know, you don't remember all the pieces or facts of it, so your brain yes. makes something up with that. Or, you know, when you go along the words of priming, where um, people it's lead you stimulus. Yeah. So, you know, like if you think of like graph, you'll have other words that, you know, you'll think of much sooner after that like trees and lawnmowers you know it's a lot more suggestive techniques and triggers where you know someone just has to say it and then it gets someone thinking oh shit like yeah, yeah. no and then it's like the mass and effect isn't it yeah but you know what's gonna mess like, us up even more <laughs> um, ai and deep fake technology dude <laughs> ai and deep fake technology is already a big problem but it's even one of those things where people have been saying you know it could be the Mandela effect could be the government's testing on um, how well they can alter people's perception of history. Which yeah. is correct, right? Because at the same token... Also scary as hell. It is. It is. It truly yeah. is. But the thing is, if we were told to stay inside, if we were told that a city was bombed, that would be easy enough to CGI, right? Like, let's face it, we've yeah. gotten so yeah. accustomed to Marvel movies and stuff like this, that seeing... A fucking spaceship with laser beams independence day style wouldn't really scare us we've become so desensitized to it horror be welcome in but what up horby it's but it's that kind of effect like, yeah. and like you said is the government using this against us to see how much they can manipulate to a point where how many people are speaking up about this like Dude, this know? is this is real 1984 level shit but yeah no, I'm, I'm really into the conspiracy side of shit so that's where you'll get me talking at it <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and this is where it's going and another theory with the mandela effect is that mm. and we were talking about this before and we're going to go back to the hadron collider so for those mm -hmm. of you who don't mm -hmm. know what the hadron mm -hmm. collider is it is a particle accelerator so think of a bunch of tubes in a hose that goes around you shoot one particle this way one particle that way they smash you create something else so scientists have decided that we are going to smash it together and create a god particle or, or, or figure out if a god particle exists so mm -hmm. the problem with that is when you start smashing particles and atoms together is that could create a hole or a yeah. rip in a possible dimension nice and this is where Ooh. we start to get when they hit that in 2008 is that when shit started to change are we in an altered reality um one uh well it used to be Not a book and it was created uh it was turned into a show is the man in high castle. So if you haven't seen that, uh, essentially you the, have it. okay. So the man in high castle is actually a really cool premise. What happens okay. is instead of 
the non-Nazis winning World War II, the Nazis won. Yeah. So it's basically oh, a shit. world in which the Germans reign supreme. So That's terrifying. But, like, that's the thing. Do we know? We presume based on what we knew, but that's... It's, it's a weird switch. So did we hit just right that we have just altered our path even a millimeter, even a, a fraction of a millimeter off of the original path to a point where we have altered time and our reality. Like my thing is, I think a lot of the shows and the movies that we love could yeah. be a story of truth so that when we're told it, it's like teaching a child, right? You teach a child through cartoons. They've teach adults through a, uh, CGI. Let's look at the show, The Flash, the superhero, The Flash. What is The Flash's thing? He can run as fast as time, and he can actually, he learned to break time. And that was it. And he can see the alternate dimensions, right? Because yep. in the Marvel Universe, we are not Earth-1. We are Earth-616. Like, we are an alternate dimension. We're not even probably the most awesomest dimension. And we have to Holy be okay shit. with that. So when you think yeah. about people smashing particles together regardless of intent whenever we fuck with science something seems to happen so yep. is this yeah, science fucks with us back <laughs> but, yeah. but this is it but the problem is as as humans we're curiosity right we are going to touch fire until it burns ourselves. we are going to hit people mm -hmm. with six until they get hurt and hit us back um you yep. know there's so yep. many things let's take a minute to acknowledge chat sorry guys we've been uh, just going on content but we've got a few people in Horror B, Rock Boys, Spade. Salute Noble. to the Rock Boys. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. But right now, uh, we've had a couple, well, I've had a, a beer. We've smoked some weed. I've had a couple edibles. We're talking about mixed dimensions, the Mandela effect, all kinds of crazy yeah. shit. So welcome in. But, uh, mm. but this is it, boys. So have we gotten to a point where media has just been a way to change our perception right because we don't believe that uh, all the all the media is is a perception filter mate and, 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 all well, the media is and that's it so every time like our our are actually let's go back to the fruit of the loom right we talked yeah. about this yeah. is this just a marketing ploy they said it didn't exist so now we all have to because until you can find the physical proof you don't know so until we can find did. that old pair of gitch, until we can find that old shirt, we don't know. Yeah. We have to assume whatever they said is true to us. And, and, yeah. and this is what bugs me because one thing that really irritates me with the news, the news is, what is the one thing that sells the best in the world? Fear. Yeah, you want people to spend leads. money. Oh, you want yeah. people to believe. You tell them that they're in danger and they will believe whatever you want. You can lead these people into a fire telling them that it's going to save them from a monster, right? Let's, yeah. right? Much like cults. If we all kill ourselves, we're going to have a better... No, fucking Jerry is an asshole. That's all this is. Jerry yeah. is fucking delusional and he is an asshole. There might be a gas leak in the house, but we believed him because someone wanted yeah. to believe. And when one person believes, another person. When that person it's believes, two more. And then we start getting into and mob mentality. Effect, yeah. Right? Yeah. And this is the thing, right? Because we even talked about Fruit Loops. What was the thing that pissed us off? Because no one in their right mind would spell fruit, F-R-O-O-T. Right? As a normal human yeah. being, you're going to spell it F-R-U-I-T. But if there is no fruit content, marketing says, well, we could be held legally responsible for that. So we're going to say F R U U O O T. We're not going to tell anybody, guys. Hey, yeah, just keep it up below, and that's it. Put it right in your faces, <laughs> you know. And I and I think that's what's happening. And and the problem is, whenever I watch uh, people, what happens with some stuff, yeah. And the thing is, we are filled with such, and I and I'm I'm horrible for it too, guys. I watch absolute shit TV, but we watch enough uh, stuff to distract us, right? When you get caught into a seven series show like game of thrones you couldn't give two shits less if there is some kind of you know town hall meeting going on because a train full of oil spilt over a town and we had to evacuate ever we're gonna keep that real hush hush like and, and that's yep. the one thing and there's another thing that we're gonna talk about and maybe we'll work it into the next episode 
because I actually did want to reach out to the the Rock Boys about this specifically creator, the aliens in the Miami Mall. I need to know about this, bro. Because in Canada, okay, we didn't hear shit about that. So, bro, Carrie, let me tell you. Away. Let me tell you. Okay, so this one had me hooked. Whether or not it's aliens or not, don't give a shit. Here's the reason why. I have, and they said this was a bunch of teens, right? They said this was a bunch of teens. Here you go, Tony. Little seven tier IPA. Salud. There we go. Yeah. Um. So here's the thing, right? I have never in my life, and at our malls here, we've had teens fighting in the malls. They have curfews now for that reason. Um. I have never in my life seen that many cop cars pull up ever for teenagers fighting. Even if they have sticks, even if they have chairs that they're throwing, I've never seen an entire street full what looked like hundreds of cop cars. I've never seen that in my life for teens. For teens fighting. And I know they said they sounded like there was explosions because of fireworks and everything, and that could... But even in then, what, they bring in a SWAT team? I've never seen that many cop ever pull up on that type of situation. Well, and I know, I know that, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been watching OP Live for a couple seasons now. So I'm, uh, uh, the U.S. definitely does like to send a squadron in. Um, yeah, but dude, but like. First off, we have to be realistic. How many yeah. were actually on duty at the time? Like it, that's it, true. Whenever, and this is the thing that bugs me because we never question our military budgets. We never question anything like that. Canada started this whole thing about defunding the police as though that was the answer. Yeah. Take their money away. Tell you what, guys, that shit doesn't really work because as someone who has survived the jungle, and I don't mean, you know, I I I, I grew up and lived in the Myrtle murder capital of Canada for 38 years and not one of the yep. best areas. Um, I also later spade. Well, appreciate you brother. <laughs> Have a good night, bro. But, uh, but that's, and for those of you who know my past, I've done time behind bars. So I, I have spent time in the jungle and I can tell you that I have seen prisons, not that well equipped to, if, if a prisoner breaks out, it's a two day hunt, right? Like that could just be yeah. Manitoba, but in the States, for there to be a hundred cars would need to be a hundred people that would not be responding to any other calls. Right. Correct. So in Miami, by the way, and this is the thing, like is Miami yeah. a place in which you need to have that much response? But, and this brings me back to my other question. Are we so paranoid and we've gotten to a point where we we're willing to believe an alien invasion before we believe something like, if a guy walked down the street in a Sasquatch costume, right? We are going to yeah. know, right? That's that a guy, Sasquatch costume. You, you, we, we're not, there's no Sasquatch at the mall. We would never question it. But if a guy walks in a Sasquatch costume in a forest, fuck. We'd be like, oh my God. Right? But see, here's the thing that, that really Fs me up about this, right? Not only have I never, and like, this is coming from an American who has seen insane amount of police presence in different places <laughs> so like it's weird that there's that many here's the second part that's weird about this and it may like i said may or may not be aliens or multi-dimensional beings whatever people want to call them there is probably i would say two cell phones per person in this country and I haven't seen any cell phone footage of what the hell was going down in that mall. And people will film everything. And that's what bugs me. Man. So it's kind of weird. Because, and this brings me back. If no one heard the tree fall in the forest, did the tree really fall, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, the only per yep. people that I can take an account from are people that were physically there. Now, the problem was that we had that these 
fucking yep. social media influencers who think that yep. clout is more important than they they would rather lie to you for views. That that's what it is. And like I said, yep. there, there's there's things that I see that really bug me on on all streaming platforms. That's why I kind of try to do my own thing. Um, yep. But the, that's the game, right? So we had these people who claimed, you know, bloody murder. They saw them, you know, to, just a whole bunch of shit. You know, the alien touched me on the back of the head. It looked into my soul, <laughs> like all kinds of shit. But then they get called out on it and then they admit that they were lying. So now yep. that all gets thrown out, right? Because the minute that one person lies in an entire story, that story is subject. Gone. Right? Like, and that test that there's, there's, there's no credibility left. So... Yeah can we really say because and that's the thing i wasn't there but this is what worries me let's face it if how and this is the thing because i don't like to be a crazy person too i take my chances and i and i you know we we, we got our jabs for covid and all this shit whatever i really don't care what everybody thinks that's your opinion and that's it yes but at the end of the day we had a sick niece i've been sick you know we're not playing chances like I grew up in yeah. I grew up in a place where there is flu literally like ten months out of the year. Like this is yep. just the way we live, and that's it. But there's certain people out here that have a very old mentality um, that, like, if you did that, you're you know you're a government supporter. And this is where we're getting back into this tribal thing and this blacklisting thing, because yep. government has been able to push separation and fear on you so strongly that sometimes we forget about it. And yeah. for some of us, we find comfort in, you know, shit like for me, for example, I love watching Gordon Ramsay <laughs> give people critiques. I don't know why it is not useful, oh, it's amazing. Not, but right. Like yesterday, no. Carrie messages me and I'm like, I've had a couple edibles, buddy. Judge Judy is tearing shit up. Like we're, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> yes, later. dude. Right. And, yeah. that, and that's it because that's how we spend our time, but that turns this off. But if we spent time diagnosing, ripping down everything and being like, is this accurate? Is this accurate? Because we've gotten to a point where we're so comfortable and so desensitized to what we're seeing in movies that fuck, could these just be documentaries and stories of things that have happened? Because, and this is going to be my extreme example, Cabin in the Woods. Have you guys seen yeah. this movie? I've heard of it. Okay. Watch it. One day when you can, just watch it. It's not super scary. It's actually a really good... I think it's really good. Is so that the from, Johnny Depp movie? No, um, it is actually oh. with um, Chris Hemsworth um, and a couple other guys. And, okay. Uh, but okay. anyways, it's, an, it's another one of these teenage horror movies. They all go to the cabin to get high and have sex. But little do they know that they are... Okay, the, the movie's about 20 years old. Spoiler yep. alert. Nah, dude. Okay. Give me so spoilers. I'll watch it. I'll they, forget they, it tomorrow and I'll watch it anyway. It's still a great movie. But anyways, it is a cheesy B movie. What we would consider a B movie, right? Like okay. it's yep. gonna be funny, hilarious, with some sex those. scenes and a little bit of weed. So what happens Kinda in this like movie is these teens go to a cabin that was left to them by their uncle, blah 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 mm -hmm. blah. They're trying to, you know, have a good time after summer break. So they go to this cabin and they don't realize that they're in a dome. So what happens is that this is controlled what? by certain, Oh, there's certain events in here. So there are different things laid out and you don't know why. So there is behind the scenes. Think of this like a movie set, Carrie. So behind okay. the scenes, there is this organization controlling all of this and everything that happens. So okay. they are literally gambling on this. So, in the basement is a diary. So if they go into the diary and they start reading it, it summons a certain demon. If they do this outside, it summons a certain other demon, like a minotaur. And they get into all these cryptozoology horror stories. But it's oh, only triggered this. by... Yeah. It's it's essentially gambling on human sacrifice with horrors. Oh Yeah, oh no. This is, it's well worth the watch, dude. Like, you, oh, you, I gotta you, watch you this. You have easily okay. spent an hour and a half doing worse shit than watching this movie. But that's okay. what happens. So at the, so I won't bring out the end. But basically, what happens is this is a human sacrifice, like we have learned growing up with the Mayans and everything else, that this appeases yeah. our gods. You, how have you, I thought yeah. I've watched this with you, Lady Dragon. Anyways, that's what we're probably gonna watch tomorrow now. But 
you know we should do it in discord well, anybody that wants shit. to join the uh dog pound discord i'm pretty sure i've updated the link probably not anyways check it out we'll put it up on uh that we'll put it up amazing, in discord last dude. it's actually really good movie. Amazing. it's actually really well done but and that's it. And the only way that they find out that they're in this is when someone tries to dirt bike out and be the fucking hero. And then he hits the side of the dome. Pew! Yeah. Oh, evaporating shit. dome, by the way, that shit will fucking burn you alive. So, Oh I, yeah. I'm watching this shit. Yeah. So oh, I'm gonna love this. But this is the thing. Are we just someone else's game? And that brings up again, are we a simulation? I don't, the problem is, and we're going to talk about simulation theory on another one. I won't get too into it. And I'll tell you why there is a part of me that disagrees with simulation theory, but there is a strong part of me that believes we're playing someone else's game. But we'll talk about that on another episode. Um, so final thoughts on the Mandela effect. Like oh, we talked it about. It just blew up my childhood. Right? Which reminds me, okay, I'm going to say this on stream so I don't forget it. Make sure we clip it, lady. I, <laughs> I got really into some broccoli, we'll say, because you're clipping it. Um, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I just had this thought one day. I was just sitting down thinking. I was playing video games. I was just playing Fortnite by myself. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, the way these rich dudes are getting richer, like, it's almost like they're trying to level up to another universe. Like, in another universe, there's just richer people. <laughs> like, and they're trying to get to that level of richness, but we don't know what that is because we're not rich enough. And we just happen to be the broke planet out of all of these different universal planets. And I was like, why am I thinking about this right well, now? But and, and we will, because I do like that topic. But at the end of the day, dollars aren't legal tender. That dollar bill that you yeah. have is fake. If I told you tomorrow oh, yeah, that that's worth 25 anything. cents and, and that's it, like currency yeah. and, and, and this is why, but we'll talk about this because there's a lot of people that have been scooping up gold because gold is said to be the currency of the future. Like Bitcoin yep. is almost more real than the actual dollar because yes, but at the end of the day, I want everybody to think of currency as this. They're fucking unicorn dollars. It's only worth yeah. what someone else tells you. Them selling you a couch for $2,000 that costs $20 to make is because that's because someone's profiting at it. The minute you have yep. profit into something fake, you have fear, you have separation, you have tribalism, and then we're going after each other, right? Because you have to be better yep. than him now. We can't just be yep. equal. And I know communism is a horrible thought because at the end of the day, someone was profiting off communism. But yep. it's just the way we have learned to live because... I can't give you a service without you expecting something back in return or me expecting yes. something back from you. And that's how economy started. But at the same token, you would be amazed at how few con companies own a conglomerate of little companies that you buy. Like General Electric, the amount of shit that General Electric owns is ridiculous. Oh, there's a whole map of like six corporations that own every corporation that sells shit in the world. And that's it. Like even it's every crazy. And this is it. Like, yeah, we're working for someone else because if we work, we can buy shit. If we buy shit, someone can make shit. We need to make yeah. shit so that we can survive so that we can buy more shit It is a horrible thing, but that's just the way that we yeah. have Dude, monetized like when, uh, effort. But if our like country, when, uh, Go ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go I was ahead. like, it's like when I figured out that um, a lot of restaurants stopped singing happy birthday. Yep. Because Disney now owns it. They bought the rights to the song. Disney owns Happy Birthday. And and this is the thing. It's like, what the fuck? Disney owns Happy Birthday. Well, wow. And, and the other thing we get to, and this is the one thing okay. that I, like, we'll talk about. I want to talk about the Simpsons predictions. Because is Matt oh, Groening yeah, a time traveler? Okay. Yeah, we have to get into that at some point. So... We'll we'll put a pin in it, boys, yeah. because we've already got about uh, we we've got some good time. But uh, before we go into too many different episodes, but uh, okay. but that would be the Mandela effect. So for those of you joining, the Mandela effect is a 
misconception, a group misconception of a memory that wasn't there. So the Mandela effect refers to Nelson Mandela, whom a lot of people thought died in 1980. They saw the funeral on TV. Uh, guy wasn't dead. So, but no, again, is this wasn't. just what was perceived? Is this what was shown to us? You know, countless things. A lot of the Mandela effect um, examples would be what I, well, what we've pretty much come to determine has been either marketing changes, um, some way of rebranding something, uh, the way that our brain will fill in a gap, much like the hyphen in Kit Kat, because you would assume mm -hmm. that it is hyphenated, but it is not. And that's why we lose sleep at night, folks, for this Mandela effect. But it is real, it is there, and our people controlling the way that we think, probably because um, we are susceptible to it and we are so used to being told what to think and i think yeah. that is one thing that has become very very dangerous and very scary because if they scary, locked you dude. in the house and no one saw let's say san francisco blew up right because yeah. we're all locked in for some kind of flu um you would have to believe it because your only source of news would be yeah. the news and that is in itself an extremely scary proposition so Dude, that's literally 1984 it is but the thing is they told literally us, they told us this would happen they literally yeah. gave us enough rope to hang ourselves with but this is yeah. it don't assume that any technology you have hasn't been had by the government for at least 30 years but uh we'll leave it at that the mandela effect is a absolutely crazy rabbit hole to get lost in so if you are into conspiracies um uh, we're yeah, going to yeah. be looking into cryptozoology everything else and oh. once in a while we are just going to shoot the shit but uh this will be the i guess the first actual episode of corgi's chronicles um we are officially a go on spotify so check us out uh we will eventually be moving completely over to youtube so if you're any of my wonderful subscribers um let's make this the last month um, we are going to be pushing our efforts into other platforms. Um, but such is life. I'm just here to talk about shit. Carrie Noble, I really appreciate you guys doing this with me. Um, this has fun. been the it. great first relatively organized episode of <laughs> uh, Corgi's Chronicles. Um, Noble, do you have anything to add to the Mandela effect before we uh, we, we, we go... Uh, bring this load of people over to a uh, good friend of uh, Carrie's here? Mm. All I say on the Mandela effect is basically do people think it has any grit to it or is it all down to misconceptions, contextualizations or, you know, people just know it, not knowing the right linguistics and stuff like that? people want to have a chat to talk about it all links will be in the description don't forget to like follow or subscribe love you yes, yes, and yes, that's dude. it so from myself angry corgi uh Sino tv Great. and noble studios uh we are going to check out someone who has popped into our stream has been a supporter and who carrie mentioned a little while ago um before uh, we went live um we are going to go check out luke kang kick game uh, yes, he dude. is a, I would guess at this point, you can say a professional Mortal Kombat, right? Like he plays uh, in the I tournaments would say. and he, I, I at least know when I was popping into his streams, um, you know, he was, he, he was where we're at, but he seems to be blowing up and we couldn't be prouder of the guy. So, uh, yeah. everybody in here, I very much appreciate you coming in. Definitely check us out on YouTube, Spotify, TikTok um designs by lady dragon she has put out some new uh merch for us so check this all out go check out Cino tv go check out noble studios come hang out in the dog pound discord we'll see y'all next week see ya fuck probably in about 10 fucking seconds no we did it right <laughs> we did it right i always do that dude well because i